I'm Johnny Robo here at E3, and we are checking out Cuphead. What is Cuphead? It's awesome. That's pretty much Cuphead in a nutshell, but you guys tell me what it is. Cuphead is a love letter to the 1930 cartoon era, and at the same time, our love of games that we grew up with. 16-bit era hard games. It's very much set up like in the same way of any of the classic Contras, Metal Slugs, things like that. Of course, we put our little touches from any other games we love, like Street Fighter 3 has a little bit of inspiration, Radiant Silver Gun has a little bit of inspiration. There's like nuances in every fight, in the design, in the way the game plays from all things cartoon and video game. So we can expect brutal difficulty and twitch reflexes to succeed here? 100%. We, we've tweaked a lot of stuff so it requires players to respond instead of memorize. So there's just a subtle amount of randomization so you're not always playing the exact same thing that should keep most people on their feet. And we keep the difficulty extreme. We work, like the difficulty is really hard. We bought one at a new game plus level. And as well, we brought a Forza that we have uh, rotating by our booth. It's just behind us. And anybody who could beat the B, which never happened, actually would win the car. And that was all cleared. <laughs> so it was pretty good to go. Never happened, though. So I've seen that, you know, the Cupheads, they can jump and shoot as a a plane segment as well so everything's happening right yes the we have the jump and shoot and the regular run and gun with the extra ideas that we've added in like super moves there's special weapons a dash a parry move and there are also other levels in the game that play like a classic shmup so thunder Fo we have heavily influenced by thunder force series what else r type hellfire on sega genesis you and Squadron, exactly. And obviously the visuals as well, like you said, nine, uh, 1930s love letter. Yes. What, what really inspired you to go down that route? We both watched a ton of cartoons growing up. Every time this guy was sick, he would force me to watch yeah. 1930s we, we would cuddle in just tightly, other. and then would keep him he would put a nice be Betty Boop on, and then I would just fall asleep. Yes. It, was, it, was, it was romantic times for us. Yes, definitely. That's some serious brotherly love. Yeah. What, what can we expect like going into it? Are there unlockables as you go along or is it just what you see is what you get and you better get damn good at it? There will be unlockable weapons and supers. There's going to be hidden bosses and a bunch of other stuff that we're not going to name so people can be surprised when they find it. Yeah, like right now the current build, there's a lot of stuff missing from the map to give it life. So there are NPCs and other things to interact with as you sort of manage your way around the islands and unlock more and more and more until, of course, the end of the game. One of the things we haven't mentioned, it has a very, uh, by the looks of it, heavy multiplayer focus can be a good thing too. Oh yes, like, just like the classic running guns, it's a two-player game. We're going to launch with local co-op and then after launch we'll, we'll look into online if it's possible. We're a small team, so we're not going to make huge provinces. Is it one of those games where you have more players and difficulty just ramps? Uh, the difficulty ramps just by nature, by being in each other's way, by having twice the amount of things on screen to, to work with. But the boss's health also increases, so it's not, it won't go twice as fast because you got two players. And this isn't finalized, but we're working on a feature which will really promote uh, two players, which when you're brothers, it's sort of something you always did as kids. So we're going to have, when you die, you'll be able to parry the other player back to life if his ghost doesn't go off the screen. And of course, if your brother's a prick, if he, lets, if he lets the ghost go off the screen and he has an extra health, you can still steal it. That is just some cruel sibling tactics right there. So we covered 1930s inspiration, but the cup on legs. Yes. What is up with that? The cup just came from doing a ton of um, character designs and trying to find something that looked like it was from the era but still it's 100% original. So it's just page after page of doing a ton of character designs and we finally came to a point of something that we loved. And at the same time, he was scared of coffee cups and mugs when we grew up, so that inspired me to do a couple sketches in that vein. And it just happened to work out. Phobias, everybody's got them. <laughs> Bees and cups, so yeah. And you said like the brutal difficulty as well. Are there any penalties for dying in this other than just losing a life? Is, or is it infinite continues until you just get good at the game? We're putting a lot of modern uh, features in the game, so there'll be infinite lives, which allows us to make the game very challenging because you have as many tries as you want, 
and your your progression progression is saved as you play, so you never have to play the entire game again. You just go around and make progression as you can.